trek of the North Channel. We left at 5.30 this morning to get across the big water. We are 12 miles out from the mouth of the St. Mary's River. We've had flat seas. Uh, you see in the, in the drone video how cool it was. This is our view up ahead, like I say, about 12 miles out, <clears throat> the mouth of the St. Mary's River. We've had incredible weather. We navigated into the first available anchorage, which is Portlock Harbor. Kind of unique name, couldn't find much history on it other than it was connected to a railway siding also called Port Lock. Looks like it was operated around the mid 1800s. One of the first things we do after we drop the anchor is go fishing. I think we'll be able to do this for a year. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. We worked up a sweat today. We scrubbed the boat mostly from the gunnel down. Tomorrow is gonna be the top up, but take a look at her shining. Isn't she a beaut? While I was on the outside, my first mate was gutting and reorganizing the inside. I'll give you a quick view. It's drizzling rain here now, which is good because it's been 29, 30 degrees. Last... Here's a scouting report on Port Lock Harbor. It's a good spot to catch a break off the North Channel. Has good holding and protected from both directions except southeast. Water was warm, good spot to dinghy to. Caught a couple of pike here. As far as scenery, I'd give it a five out of 10. Thing for Hilton Beach Marina. The weather's supposed to be crappy for the next couple days, so I figure it'd be a good time to uh, tie up at a marina and wait out the weather. Um, if you haven't noticed, we, uh, we prefer anchoring out. So a lot of our journey is gonna be about finding the best anchorages, the most picturesque, and uh, not that we're not about towns and stuff, we just prefer to anchor out. Breaking news, tornado watch issued for Hilton Beach. Came in here for one night. As you can see, I got my hat on lock, and there's a good chance we're staying for another night. Good news is we didn't get a tornado, and when the weather finally broke, we were able to make our way up to the Tilton Hilton and have a lovely dinner. We got up the next morning, and the winds were still crazy. Later that afternoon, they subsided, and we decided to leave and head to an anchorage. Uh, where are we? Sucker Creek. Sucker Creek. We left uh, Hilton Beach last night around 8 o'clock. The winds died down and we wanted to come out and get this anchorage. It's a, uh, I would say about a 5 out of 10 as far as anchorage. I don't know if I'd go that high. It's nice for an anchorage, it's just 500 cottages. And you can't pee off the back of the boat. It Not is. that you're supposed to pee off the back of the boat, but and you the, really can't. The, Heading into Rich Richard's Landing now for the world's most famous tasty sausage. You're gonna go down, right? Ooh, she's shallow right there, babe. I know the seasons ain't gonna change and every day it looks like rain. But I keep hoping for the sun. Where'd we go? Richard Plane. Yes. What, what were the sights? What's that store over there? Yeah. Out of my box. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we were in the liquor store. Kind of cool. They actually picked their own rums and scotches and whiskeys. That was neat. And uh, what was the old uh, top shelf from uh, Perth, Ontario? They had that in there. We went to the Moose Sweats. Moose Sweats. And we're actually. Everything Moose. Everything Moose. And we're now heading to the Island Market. Being nosy me, I'm just curious to what this is. I've seen this big boat moored in here. How the heck did he get in here? The storage area for boats. Yeah, it looks like an old shipyard. We just got dusted by a local. I gotta get a faster dinghy. All in all, we really enjoyed this anchorage. Had some incredible sunrises, some beautiful sunsets, and yes, more fish. The pike slayer again. <laughs> no, I the winds were supposed to pick up out of the northwest, so we decided to move just a few miles away into a bay called Anderson Bay. 
And as usual, as soon as we get anchored, we go fishing. Tara the Pike Slayer is at it again. <laughs> Alright, let it off. Tonight's menu consists of sweet potato fries and fresh pike. Okay, I have to I have to video this hack that a friend of ours told me about a couple of years ago. We were getting so sick of the water banging in the front of the boat. And put it underneath the front of the boat. There was actually water splashing out of there before until I put the pool noodle. And all I did was hang it from the rope. Let me show you. One on each side. And as goofy as it looks. It works. See how it's pinched under the chine? I never thought that would have worked. What's the word on Mythbusters? Plausible? I'd say plausible. So this is a popular attraction. It's called uh, Whiskey Rock. Quite busy here on weekends and there's anytime we've been here, there's always some kids jumping off the rock here. We spent four days in Anderson Bay. It's a good anchorage. It's protected from most directions. Scenery is incredible. There's lots of places to dinghy to. Tons of wildlife. Fishing was awesome. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. If it had a beach, it would be a 10. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned as we tackle electrical problems, a tender, crazy family reunion, and continue on the Great Loop down the St. Mary's River. Don't forget to subscribe.